Hey folks, this is Brian with PCMac.com, and today we're going to show you how to sign up for the Windows Insider program. Uh, so to start off, you'll just want to go to insider.windows.com, and next you'll want to press the sign in button here, sign in with your Microsoft account, and then you'll want to come back to this page and press the get started button uh, and accept the terms of service. Um, you may have to do that twice. Uh, I had to do it twice for it to register, which was uh, sort of weird, but it works if you do it a second time, for sure. Uh, once you do that, uh, you'll want to close your browser and open up Settings. From here, you'll want to go to Update and Security, and you will want to move down to the Windows Insider Program tab. It'll take a minute to load, but once it does, you'll just want to press the Get Started button and go through these menus. Uh, if that button is grayed out, you can uh, go back to the main settings menu, uh, head into Privacy, down to Feedback and Diagnostics, and you'll need to make sure uh, under Diagnostic and Usage Data, this is selected to either Full or Enhanced. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, to basically uh, to um, get off of the Insider program, it's basically the same steps. Uh, you go back to it and tell it to stop giving you Insider builds. Uh, in some cases, you will actually have to uh, reinstall Windows 10 to get off an Insider build. Uh, if you've done it within 10 days, you can go to, uh, let's see here, Update and Security, I believe. Yeah, Update and Security, and then Recovery, and go back to an earlier build. But you can't do that if you've uh, if it's been more than ten days. Yeah, and that's all there is to it, folks. Uh, we've got a more detailed article over on PCMuck.com. Uh, if you follow the link in the description below, you can head over to that. And also go on over to our YouTube channel, and you'll see a whole lot more great videos and tips. Uh, once again, I've been Brad PCMuck.com, and until next time.